Definitely. All right, man. We got we spending the rest of the time our newest segment, Money Mondays. We about to get ready to jump into it. I got my girl. She's a financial coach. She's a tax preparer. She knows and loves everything about money. And today we have Drika Carter with our Money Monday. All right, so um, I'm going to kick it off. Since it's tax season, I'm going to just break down taxes a little bit because a lot of times people feel like, okay, I have one kid, I have two kids, I have three kids. I should be getting X, Y, Z amount back. But we have to understand that income tax is based on your income, right? And so if you have low income, you're not going to qualify for the full earned income credit, right? And so it doesn't matter how many kids you have because your income is too low to you buy. You don't no money. Amount. Prime example. Let's say I'm gonna use Diane P. If Diane P only made three thousand dollars for the whole year, this W two say three thousand dollars. It don't matter if he carry all how many kids you have. I got five. I was about to say five. I just wanted to make sure if he carry all five of his kids, he's not gonna get more than three thousand dollars because he only made three thousand dollars for the year. So you gotta uh, make yes. Yeah, that's that's oh, not it though. All right. We always get faced with people feeling like, okay, can I just add a business on? And you're adding a business on, you got to realize that with that business, you're not paying taxes throughout the year. So when you file taxes on your business, it's now time to do what? Hey, to pay taxes. Yeah. With, the, with the business, you be having to pay a lot of time. I mean, I'm going through that right I'm going through that right now because every year, Drinker say, well, you ain't never paid nothing in. You should have been paying something in each quarterly. And I don't never do it. And then at the end of the year. Yes. Okay. And then my thing that be hitting me too, with the, it, see, for me, it's them big concerts. Because the big concerts, you got to make sure that you, uh, I learned that this last year, but with the bigger concerts, I used to get messed up because, all right, you got to, you're getting a check for like whatever amount of money. Let's say you're getting a check for $50,000 from the Sanger Theater or whoever you're getting a check from. <laughs> But you still gotta pay. Like you're not walking you know, away. Yeah, you might not walk. You're not walking away with fifty thousand. Hell, I might walk away with ten thousand out of that whole fifty thousand. But if if you don't keep good track of your records, you gotta pay taxes on the 50. on the fifty because the concert was in your name. Correct. So another part of that is not just paying quarterly taxes, but making sure that you know where your funds are allocated to. Because if you know you're making fifty thousand. You should say my profit margin should be this, my expenses should be this, and at the end of the day, I'm only paying taxes on what my what I profited, my net, not just my gross. Because your gross, got, your expenses got to come out your gross, your advertising, your um commercials that you're running, the flyers that you're putting out, right? All of the I'm just basing it off a concert, right? That's your gross. You getting fifty, you getting a fifty k check. That's cool, right? But how many concerts you throwing that you not keeping up with your money? A lot like me. <laughs> how many? How many? How many has she done? Because cash coming in, are you using cash app? Are you using a payment processor? And you paying fees on that money if you're using a payment processor. Your gross is not your gross. Uh -huh. If you pay forty for this haircut, I'm probably getting thirty two because I have to pay fees off this. Right. You see what I'm saying? Right. That's not the fees ain't taxes. So we got to be clear on that too. A lot of people feel like even W two workers. Oh, I have X, Y, Z coming out of my check. They're taking money out. Yeah, but that's for Medicare. Right. And that's for Social Security. So when you retire, right. that money back. I ain't got nothing to secure. Money. Money. <laughs> and then if you're not paying federal, a lot of people got messed up with that W-4 form. So if you don't know how to fill out your W-4 form, contact the expert. Of course, come see Carter Capital. We, can help, we help our clients fill out their W-4 forms. You should fill out a W-4 form every single year. No matter if you stay at the same job or not. If you're a contractor, you should be filling out a W-9. Your artist should be filling out W-9. So you can give them a 1099. So now you're writing off their what? Income. Right. That subcontractor income that you paid them out is not counting towards your gross. Oh, yeah. That's why. Oh, yeah. They, I, did, I did learn that this year, too. That's why, I, man, hold on. Let me get you the W-9 right quick. <laughs> yeah, let me, let me put this W-9 on file for you. And then I see you a 1099. But then they could claim they, yeah, they could, they could claim they income. So now if they need to go get a job or something like that, they got to 
They can take that out of time. They got something to do because uh, I know a lot of speed in this business, and that's how they're doing. Mm -hmm. I just put it to the sign. Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, any any kind of any kind of corporate company can give you a W dime. Everybody that I work with, and I have to pay on a regular. When I do the concert, that's how you. That's how you know you're gonna get that 10.99. When you spell out that W nine, they're gonna give you a 10.99. Exactly. See that I didn't know that before. I got messed up because somebody didn't send my 10.99 before, and I filed taxes. But the the, the 10.99 was like forty thousand dollars, right? Like today, it was so, Yeah. So when the 10.99 came in, this was years past. They came back and wanted me to pay the taxes well, on the forty grand. And you just gotta keep in mind that's self-employed taxes, so you're getting thirty percent, whereas the W two worker only paying thirteen. I'm telling you, that messed me up bad. That's why you have to be. That's why you have to keep good records because if I would have kept good records, I would have been like, "Yo, you gotta. I need that I ninety nine, my brother. You feel what I'm saying? Can you, you send me that? You feel what I'm and then I wouldn't have got hit with it. I wouldn't have got hit with it. It was it was one more thing. We got a few minutes. You you was talking about you was talking to somebody over the weekend. I, I was like, oh, we gotta bring this up about the carrying the kids. Oh yeah. Remember, for me, I never carried my kids since I've been divorced. I never, I ain't never carried a kid. I ain't never carried the kids. But you say y'all can split. Check this out. I wanna put the brothers on game. You paying child support? You put money in the game? Listen, I wanna put y'all on game. That just that goes. Let me let me tell you. Let me break it down. So check this out. If you have a kid, right? You fifty percent the mom, you fifty percent the dad. But does this kid live with you? Do you provide more than half of their support, right? Even if you are the non custodial parent, right? The, they might live with the mom full time, and they come by you on weekends or whatever. But if you providing more than half of the support, let's say the mom only make ten twenty thousand, and you making eighty thousand, right? The kid. It might be more beneficial to file with you or if y'all do tiebreaker rules y'all can split it six months and six months it's all about what happened during that year right you right, see what i'm saying yeah. oh, right right i tell parents look if y'all can't agree on six months and six months file that kid every other year that's fine y'all not gonna get in trouble that's your kid that's her kid we're about to get off the live now they're like oh, 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 <laughs> Well, I, I ain't making this up. <laughs> like, like, like my situation, you know, she's majority, you know, with her mother because of the school situation. Mm -hmm. So I I pour into her, but when it came to taxes, even when I was in prison, you ain't never even. That's going so to why, I don't want to take it from I'm not going to lie, y'all. Before I started taxes as a kid, I thought taxes was for women. I want that to go to I ain't no men file taxes. Ain't going to lie. And I, I think, now I'll be honest with my with my son, Mama. For whatever reason, one year, for whatever reason, one year, I don't know what the circumstances was. She wanted me to wanted me to claim her for whatever reason. I don't remember why, but it was gonna be better for her. That was the only time she ever mentioned that. It was that year. But that, I ain't even. I ain't, they don't want to hear that one right there. All right, man. We gotta get ready to wrap it up. It's coming up on that time. Uh, it is nine o'clock. Don't forget to catch us each and every Monday, each and every Monday. Um, I want to make sure that we welcome Drika Carter to the Morning Brew family, man. Welcome. She did her first official her official segment. Yeah, first official segment um, here. She's been rocking with us for some years, being a supporter. And, uh, man, we just excited to have her. So every other Monday, you can catch Money Monday. She's doing tax money to this time. But next time it might be something else. Next time it might be something else, man. I'm excited to have sister in the building. She like a sister to me. We've been knowing each other for a while in business. So it was just a perfect fit. It was good timing. Um, any words, Drink, any, any words quickly before we get ready to get up out of here? For the Capital Mobile app, if y'all need assistance, our tech experts can help y'all. And of course, we're located at 7313 down the road in New Orleans. You're going to see the big black and gold sign. That's what's up, man. Seven to profit. Six profit on all platforms. We'll get seven principles book on Amazon on as well. Right now, all three to the full time. I'm telling y'all right now, man. Make sure y'all listen to the show this week. We got some big guests coming up. Juan Lafonte gonna be in the 